Good morning to you all out there and welcome to another one of my videos on this really dull, dark morning. Today I'm at Shoreham. I'm fishing a different mark to the one I normally go to, which is the Church of the Good Shepherd, which is just here. Never ever fished here, first for me. So we will see how we get on. So, today the tide is, we're right at the top of the tide, it's 8 o'clock, so I'm going to fish it out for maybe four hours or thereabouts, so a bit of a short session. Initially I'm going to fish one rod because it looks a little bit weedy and there's a wee bit of weed along here and I can see a few bits floating around out there. So, really, really simple. Um, very short snoods, two up, single um, these are freshly dug blow lug and a 150 gram weight. So I'm going to chuck this out. I have absolutely no idea what we may catch today. Anything would be good. The water is certainly uh, cloudy today. Murky, I would say. A bit like the weather. Whoa, you stupid man. A few of you out there have asked me um, what adjustments have I made to the trolley in very simple terms. I put a bar across here which stops this bag sliding forward onto the wheels. I put some aluminium spacers in here because the wheels push up against this. Um, they're about two centimetres and I put a cage on the bottom here so I can put something small or I can rest my um, bivvy and then attach it to here. All works really well now, I have to say, and I'm really, really pleased with it. I've also put a bar across here as well, just to stop anything uh, moving back. But uh, it's a brilliant trolley, I have to say. Um, why I didn't get one sooner, I really don't know. Now, there looks to be something on here. But I don't know whether it's... I don't know, it looks like something's clattering on here. Well, it's a fish, but it's, um, <laughs> it's a whiting, but I'll take, you know what, I'll take you whiting, been here 10 minutes and it's a fish. Right, let's unhook you, get you back in. Okay, little fish. Where would I be without whiting? <laughs> right up the creek. All right, let's get you back in. Go on then. Oh, what's going on here? What are you doing? It's not that difficult, is it? Stay clipped. Grumpy, I think, springs to mind today. It's unusual for me. Maybe it's my wife.
But somebody uh, messaged me asking me how um, mother-in-law's been behaving. Well, I'll give you a little snapshot. Um, when I'm at home, I get this constant up and down the corridor, up and down the corridor, requesting to do things. And little notes appear. Anyway, we had the tap tap on the sitting room door. I need some nasal spray. Well, do you really need nasal? Yes, I do, right? Get in car, four miles, get nasal spray, come back. Then we get, well, you're not gonna be very happy. Well, go on then, try me. Well, I need some Stugron for the dog. What do you want Stugron for? They're kind of motion tablets. Well, it calms her down. So this drugged up red-eyed dog is staggering around the house. But that aside, I think, you know what? I can't sit here, drink my beer because it's drip Chinese torture. I'll go and get it. So I went and got it, came back. There you go. As I walk into the kitchen, little note, carrots. Is the world going to fall apart because we haven't got any carrots? Mary, why do you need carrots? Well, the dog eats them. Well, why is the dog eating carrots? Well, they're good for her. Well, forgive me, this mountainous, huge, hairy, nasty creature has gone beyond trying to redeem itself through eating healthily. And I got so bloody wound up about it, having driven twice, I said, Mary, I, I, I'm gonna, what'll happen is, you'll read in the local newspaper, I've killed a dog with a carrot. Well, there's no need to be like that. Anyway, I relented and I went and got ruddy carrots. So I'm then getting my beer and I'm sitting and I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm being looked at. So I open the sitting room door and the dog is standing there staring at me with its big red eyes and its fur all falling out like some hellhound. Oh, what are you doing here? Stare. Anyway, tragic down the corridor, open her room. Mary, your dog's out here. Oh, well, I wondered where the dog was. Well, you can't miss the bloody dog. It is the size of a small mountain. Leave the dog in there. Sit down. Television on. Beer. Thinking, right, I can calm down now. 20 minutes later, I can hear, like, scratching outside. What's that? Go out. Dog's there, staring at me with its big red eyes again. And it's not staring at me in a friendly way. It's kind of staring at me. Maybe I'm paranoid. Like it's wishing me ill. Anyway, back down the corridor sit down then we get Paul what the television's not working no Mary the television's working well it's not well it is no it's not Mary we've had this before it's working go to television look at back of television plug switched off what are you doing well I didn't touch it switch plug on switch television on fine program back in to my sitting room. Ten minutes later. Paul, what? Television's not working. Same bloody thing. You've switched the plug off. I haven't touched it. Oh. And I have to try and step away from it, but sometimes it just gets me, which is why I'm here today. Because I can escape. My wife's at work and I'm down here. Now, very unusually for me, I've got another bite, but... I think, <laughs> it looks very suspiciously like a waiting. But I'm not gonna complain, I'm here for a few hours today, so I'm glad just to catch. Well, <laughs> unusually for me, it's another fish. And yes, it's a waiting. But you know what? Today, I'm just going to go with the flow and I'm happy to catch a whiting. I dropped into a garage this morning to get coffee and um, I had this snood like here going, well, this will do as a face mask. Anyway, I wandered in there and a very nice lady. Um, well, she wasn't very nice, if the truth be known. I said, oh no, you can't come in. I said, why? She said, well, you're not wearing a face mask. I said, well, it's a covering. No, it's not. And I'm thinking, she sounded like mother-in-law. 
I said, well, where, where does it say that I have to wear a face mask on this sign, she said. There was a sign, an, ele an electronic sign, face mask must be worn in this store. I said, well, it is. It, 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 it's a mask. I said, people hold banks up wearing stuff like this. No, she said, I'm not going to serve you. So I had to go out for the car, get a mask, put it on, come back in again. I don't know. Oh, is that bite stuff? Oh, it is. Oh. What could it be? Let's have a guess. That looks very suspiciously like a bite. A biting. A waiting. Let's have a little reel in. I suspect it is. By which time my water will be boiled and my coffee will be sorted. <laughs> what can I say? I'm going to measure these just to see if these are eating size. Okay. How big are you? You're 28. How big are you? You're 28 as well. So they're both eating size. But I'll get you back in, I think. I'll let you swim another day. Oh, there is a nice bite, and I suspect that is another whiting. Let us have a look. Well, if I wanted whiting for food, <laughs> I wouldn't be going hungry today. It's rather good. Nicely hooked, so you can go straight back in. And there is a man who I know who's just appeared called Rob. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm ignoring the dog. Yeah, Bella, go on. <laughs> I, think, I think it is me. Yeah, that's okay. I won't look at you, Bella. Right, Bella. Do you want a bit of banana bread? Do you? Oh, I do. I do. Bella, sit. 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 Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Now, Rob has just brought me some banana bread. And it would seem banana bread charms the scary dog. Right, you have one more bit, but you've got to sit. Sit down, sit. Sit, there's a good dog. Right, the rest is for me. <laughs> well, what a contrast from the barky creature earlier on. Bit chewy, is it? <laughs> Yeah. Tell your wife that is excellent banana bread. No, I think you've had enough banana bread and you've had a chew. And I know you've had a chew because I saw it over there. No, I haven't. I'm very hungry. And looking at me with those little doggy eyes is not going to work. But I'm so hungry, this man does not feed me. He never gives me any food at all. Look at me, I am starving. You're from Romania, aren't you, Bella? I think people think I've gone mad. I'm now talking to a dog. Right, you get one more piece and then that's it, no more. Do you want another bit? Okay, here you go. See, that wasn't too bad, was it? Not everyone is scary. Hmm? See, we can be, I know you can see the banana bread, can't you? Well, ears forward is not going to work. Looking friendly is not going to work. It's not going to happen. This is my banana bread. It's nice though, isn't it? Hmm? See? There's a first. <laughs> You're not having any more. Looking at it like that, it's not going to work. Oh, cool, that was nice. So, I'm nearly uh, packed up. Fishing is just kind of switched off now. It's like they've stopped. 
<coughs> and I haven't got COVID. My wife looks at me now every time I cough. But I just want to say a big thanks to all of you out there and all the support. It's really, 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 really appreciated. Um, hopefully I get to see my daughter this weekend and that will dictate whether I go fishing or not again. If she doesn't get to the UK, then I'm probably going to go out and stay the Christmas with her. And if she does get to the UK, then I'm going to come out fishing and um, probably come down here, I have to say. It's a nice, easy beach. So, as ever, take care. Thanks for watching The, uh, the Strange Man. And today, well, hey, we caught some fish. So, look after yourselves.